Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can create a simple search in PHP So we will have a very simple uh, search form like this And then uh, we're going to enter a keyword for the search and then we're going to click sub submit um, If there are users, um, it will return the user and if not, it will echo no result was found Okay, so um let's start with the uh, the file i have a folder uh, i have only two files the first one is database which i will link to a database called tutorial okay and then an index file uh, index file i'll just have a php that's required a database and a very basic um, html I have a bootstrap link for CSS uh, and that's a pretty much now let's start it so let's come to the body all right for the body we're gonna start by creating a form container for the form we're gonna have um, form action index .php. Um, method equal post okay and within the form um, within the form we're gonna have first input text and then place holder in the placeholder we're gonna want to write search for user and we're gonna name it as um, key and the next one we just create a very simple button called submit button um, and we have the value is submit right and we also create a name for it called submit okay um, now let's go and I want this form to be margin top five let's go back and um, refresh our page okay so we have a form like this and right now if I search it doesn't have anything all right no nothing here all right so this is for the front end next we want to work on the back end so let's go to the php section right first thing we want to do is that we if post if post submit which is if the user click on a submit so we want to we want to check uh first we want to have the variable key and then we're gonna take the the value the user input here all right key post key next we're going to do a query so for our query we're going to say pdo prepare and we're going to do select everything from um, user um, at this point i want to show you the um, the database first um, so I have a very simple database in the tutorial uh, user uh, I have six user but uh, we, we only care about um, this is the structure we only care about the first name and last name we will search for the user based on the first name and last name um, and uh, ignore the other one just for the sake of being simple for this tutorial okay um, let's go back so we have first name and last name we want to search in that so we're just gonna write where where first name like keyword all right this is how we search or last name like keyword
keyword uh, and then we can also want to order um, by first name for example all right so the next thing is that uh, we're gonna buy the value into the keyword so into the the sql statement above all right so we're gonna have by value so we want keyword which is this one and then we're gonna have something like key And last thing, video param string. Okay. So um, that's pretty much. So it actually will search. Um, it will buy the keyword, which is the key right here, into the uh, SQL statement, and then it, it will search. This one is at a string such as a string okay now we what we're gonna do is just to query and then execute execute okay um and then we're gonna say the result result we're gonna say query we're gonna want to fetch all of the results and store it in the uh, result array uh, we want also count how many row query and row count okay so this is pretty much for the uh, back end now we're gonna um, echo the the outputs okay uh, but remember row is how many records that are returned from our our search statement now um, we will go back to the HTML to create the output so we will have another container this container we're gonna create um, we open it in our PHP and this one we're gonna say if row different from zero okay so we're gonna output the result here but if it is equal to zero That means um, there's no result was found. So we're gonna say um, H4 danger no result was found for your search. And we're gonna close it like this detects danger here the class from bootstrap now for the output the result so remember we have an array which can contain more than one record so we'll have to look through it so we can do that by for each result s r um then we're gonna add code a4 So what we're gonna echo here is that first we wanna echo um, first name a space and then we wanna echo again uh, which is last name a 
and we also want a brick in the end okay so now that's pretty much mm, let's go ahead and test it so for this one I'm, uh, let's have a look at our data so I'm gonna search for somebody called zero for example so I'm gonna start search zero submit oh what is a um, syntax error three nine Okay, I see him right here. Okay, um, let's do it again. Now we're gonna refresh it. Okay, undefined variable row 36. So we're gonna go back and check. Oh, this one is supposed to be plural. Back and we're gonna refresh this again. All right, we found one result right here. Okay, uh, let's just run the one, for example, Jess. So, Jess, and I've got Jess. It was just such something like hello. It would say no result was found for your search. So, um, it's appeared that our search has worked pretty well. Um, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.